Hi Fee and everybody, I'm Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot. Yes, I'm a rich bitch and I've got gems. No, I just made a video on uh, decks and on gems as we're in one of the decks that I use um, and I've done a review on and that's the uh, uh, Witch's Oracle deck. Um, they also give you an explanation um, uh, of the history of the de uh, of the card and what the card means and the definition of the card also gemstones and an incantation on affirmation and so I just did a, a little bit about gemstones because I've got a book that must be 40 years old it was my aunt's and it gives you all the definitions of the gemstones it also gives you uh, photos of stones so you can relate to them as they have uh, healing energies, stones and the, you know, like you've got also other therapies. And I wonder how many of you know about these therapies. And that's a sort of like agate and crystal and quartz. And I love the meanings. The stones also relate to uh, like birth stones. Um, and there's a big, massive history and theory uh, behind it. Shamans use it, the witches use it, um, other people use it, healers use it. You've got the chakra stones. There's loads of different stones and it's fantastic if you go to a stone shop and you actually go around and find out the different meanings. And you can start with your own birthstone. Then um, when I go to, when I go to fairs, when I'm at a fair doing my cards, reading cards for people, there are also people there that sell stones, and they they don't mind you picking up a stone like this. I've got a crystal quartz because um, uh, a clear crystal quartz because that is the purest stone, and it, it feels good. So when you try out, if you want a stone of your own, like in the 1970s, I think the Americans um, got a pebble and they tied it, um, a piece of string around it. And they, it was a craze for a long, long time. And the person that invented it uh, have a pet uh, stone as a pet or for a pet. He became a millionaire with that idea by dragging your stone on a piece of string with you. But you can just put it in your bra or you can put it in your purse or in your pocket and just keep it close to your heart and it will do its healing. So I thought you might like to um, know about that. I don't know if anybody of you... Uh, colleagues creator youtube creators or readers know about stones i would be interested if you uh, do anything with stones healing with stones or readings with stones i have seen people using agate amethyst mel uh, macalite jade ruby uh, because you don't have to get the real expensive rubies you can get a, a, a like a chip which they sell uh, for people to use for healing um, citron diamond, citron sapphire, sapphire uh, what else, tiger's eye, lapis lazier, this is lapis lazier, you've got different colours in it, it is for the mind inside, I, uh, I think of lapis lazier as the third eye, also the students and quartz, uh, and this is amethyst quartz, that is for peace and headaches, migraines. Then you've got tiger's eye. That is toward of evil, the evil eye as well. To see things more clearly, to think more clearly. And then you've got malachite. That is malachite. And then you've got jade. Jade. And hepatite with pearls. And my sister brought all these back because they are hematites. And that is also good with computer and telephone to keep it clear. Okay, and this is my biggest quartz and that's my crystal ball. And I do readings with that as well. And every time the mist just changes. Also, I like to work in daylight with this rather 
than um, a false light. But I did an interview with uh, Monica Brawinski. Monica uh, Brawinski wrote the uh, made the House of uh, Shadows, and I just love her sense of humor. So go and have a look at um, the video, the review, the interview, and the review, because I've already made a, a review on it. And I was talking to her and I said, how can you think of a centipede as a dog, a centipede wearing a dog's mask? This is an oracle card, according to her, but they are, to me, they are the Lena Munn card. And she said it was a flea. So we were in stitches. We, it really was a lovely discussion. And this is her sense of humor. That's the anchor. And she uses animals as well. And then we have the the, the letter. And she, she um, supports the Federation for Bats in Canada because bats are dying out. And they are, uh, they protect us because they make sure that they, um, uh, kill the mosquitoes which attack us and they are also very good for our gardens and then you they're really depicted she thinks the humor in it um, in most cards like this is the bear and somebody uh, riding or over your back or using going over your back and this bear is dormant so he's not aware of what is happening that's being used but the meaning of the bear if for those that don't know Lenemon means that you can stand your ground you're as strong as a bear there might be somebody jealous of you that's the basic meaning okay um, and luck is on your side so be more aware this bear is sleeping I think it's really the humoristic and also let me show you some of the other cards so yeah the humor in it let me see i'll show you what i mean and also the heart we fall in love perhaps once or twice before we find the right person and look how it's stitched up the time heals and that is how magic it is you know um you can i was talking to her and i said this is what i say about this card you know and she says, well, that's supposed to be um, a flea on the dog. It's supposed to be a flea. And I said, that was a centipede. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, she says, it doesn't matter how you interpret it or what you see. But, you know, it, it's nice to, see, to know your definition. And also the sun. Wouldn't they be great as balloons for kids' parties? And also um, this one, hang on a minute, the child, if I can find a child, I can't find a child. Well, you've got the moon here, somebody wearing a mask, because the moon means unknown things. So let me see whether I can find the child, because the child's like that as well. Typical, it was stuck in the box. And this is also a balloon. So if you want a Halloween party or a woo party, then I, I think these would be great fun. So, yes, that's my, my, my decks I did the reviews on. And I had a beautiful interview with Monica Brawinski. And they, she's also, uh, she's made the house uh, Shadowlands. And I'm waiting for them to receive. So then I'll do the review and send it on to you, Crystal V. And this is my other favorite deck. And that's the Enchanted Dreams Tarot uh, by Yasmin Westwood. And I did an interview with her last week as well. And she's also an awesome lady. And this deck is totally dedicated to the woman and the feminine side of us all. And every time I go back into uh, these decks, like you see all women, children, the men are excluded because she wanted to bring out the feminine, that the woman is important without being a feminist. And that's what I like about it, because we do need the masculine in ourselves 
to be aware of. And this deck is making sure that you're aware of your femininity and your masculinity. So, because they're not there, makes you think, what about it? What is what? What is masculinity? Where can I find the balance? Okay, that's uh, awesome. They're beautiful cards. I'll just show you some. And that's the knight. The men are hidden. And um, that's the two of cups. That was the five of swords. And this is the king of pentacles. And look how cheerful and bright that is. The nine of cups. And then we've got the ten of cups. Now, I think this, the Three of Swords is amazing. She's hiding her feelings behind the veil, her sadness. And I think it's so beautiful. The women are beautiful as well. But what I also like about her is that um, she, she doesn't look only on the exterior or the age of, of people, um, but also Gothic-like. Um, she's so beautiful, like the Eight of Swords, caught up in a, uh, a cobweb. I'm looking for the Empress. I'm looking for the Empress because she's not your model. She's not um, just another man. Um, she's, uh, let me have a look. That's the Sun. Transformation. The Knight of Pentacles, Judgment, like the rising phoenix from the ashes, rising from the ashes. Look at this. This woman is slightly uh, larger. She's not skinny and beautiful and in the sense of a model. I think she's pretty because you she's beaming because she's pregnant. She's larger. Isn't that beautiful? Dif also different cultures, European, Western. Dark haired, ginger haired. They're not all blonde. That's what I like about it. That's the Queen of Swords. I'm just and also the imagination behind it and uh, the um, hanged man perspective uh, with like delays pending no uh, you've got no hands on the clock the chariot pegasus I love that Woohoo! going upwards and onwards Let's have a look. That's the King of Wands. It's, they're still there, but they're not depicted. We can't do without the masculine or the men. We can't do without black or white, like night and day. Um, and there's also in the uh, House of Shadows, also in the Witch's Oracle uh, deck, um, that is so prominent in these decks. They are making uh, one think really deep. They're really beautiful, like your decks, uh, Crystal V. Now also, you've got a lot of your mystical decks. Okay. I like the way there are new um, authors coming in. Uh, uh, there's uh, after... Um, Doreen Virtue, because she had the market. Let's face it, she had the market. Um, now there's more people coming out and bringing out beautiful decks. And I'm, uh, I'm glad that um, Diana uh, Virtue made such beautiful decks. But she's, let's face it, she's inspired a lot of people to come out and share their talents. And I'm really grateful for that. And I hope she's well. You don't hear anything anymore about Diana uh, Virtue. It's making people look towards other decks as well and opening up. 
and seeing the beauty of others and giving other authors and artists um, the chance to get known. I think they're great. There you go. So I hope uh, to see all the other um, people that are um, working with you, V. I hope to see their little video for today. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, everybody. And if you've got any questions with regard to these decks, I'm always there to be approached through email or uh, in my live sessions or uh, send me a video message uh, through email. That would be nice as well. That would be something new. Or you can uh, join me in the live sessions. English is Monday and Friday. And if you can speak Dutch, you're more than welcome on Wednesday. And go and have a look at my channel. You're more than welcome. I love you all. If you want to become a cyber babe, then um, join me in the life and then you'll be initiated and we've officially reached 2000 but something is happening with delays uh, uh, adding on I think you might be having the same issues uh, delays when uh, new members are added on I love my cyber angels thank you very much for subscribing giving me the thumbs up and making the ch my channel because without you my channel wouldn't exist okay it wouldn't be interesting so that's what i think of my viewers i'm so grateful have a look at the decks that i've shown you you can find them in the playlists and i hope you enjoy and i hope you join in and let me know what your what your channel is about and um by joining v um by making a little video every tuesday or every other tuesday or once a month Take care. Love you all. Peace be with you and stay strong.